One thing you for sure can count on is that pop culture is always going to change. That's pretty much the only constant with that. That's the only constant with any change is that it's going to change. Nothing stays the same. I'm a big pop culture girly, especially when it comes to TV. I love a good TV show, always have. There's some that I've watched probably about a bajillion times. And you know, we live in a world where there's a billion different streaming services and of thousands of thousands of different shows to choose from. And even with all of that, we still sometimes have a hard time of picking a show to start. This brings me to a thought that I've been pondering on for some time. Now, it's great to have all of your favorite shows on demand. It's great that a lot of these shows come out with the full season all in one day. You can sit and watch it in a whole weekend and be done. And it's really great for those shows that come out, you know, just months apart. Now, some shows you have to wait a whole year and blah, blah, blah. But gone are the days of waiting a whole week for the show waiting for, for the really truly waiting for the new season to come out setting alarms you had to watch it when it was actually on tv maybe you could catch a rerun and we had options for some years now to be able to record it you know using vhs's or tivo or whatever look there's pros to having streaming services and having all of these different apps with all of these different shows and blah 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 the one thing about pop culture, especially concerning TV, is that we could really bond over these TV shows. And not that we still can't bond over the show, but part of that bonding was that you had to watch it when it was coming out, right? You, we were all kind of more or less waiting on this same schedule, but now these shows come out, you can watch all of the season all at once. You can watch us seven seasons of a show over time. I'm curious to see how are we going to relate over TV shows? How do we even do it now, let alone in the next coming of years? Do you get what I'm saying? Like a new show could come out and let's say I watch it all over the weekend, but it takes you three months to get through it. Well, who am I going to talk to about? Who, who am I going to talk to about this show? You know, I mean, the w internet is big. I'm pretty sure I can find someone on my timeline, okay? Then it's like you have some shows it takes a whole year for the new one to come out. And and that's not necessarily anything new, but there's because everything's so saturated, by the time the new season of something that comes out, you probably have forgotten any and then you feel like, well, I had to go back and watch season one to two to even understand what's going on in season three. The point is is that we're all on a different time schedule. And there's so much to watch. There's so many great shows to choose from. But are we choosing the same shows in our friend circle and our social circles with the people that we work with? Look, a lot of water cooler talk, a lot of things that you talk about in class was the TV shows that you watched the night before, over the weekend, over summer break. And, and I just wonder, as we're all watching all of these different shows at different times. Now, look, obviously there are certain shows that are going to be more popular that everyone's going to be watching at the same time. And everyone's going to make sure they hurry up and watch it so you don't have spoilers and these things. But I'm noticing a trend that, you know, we don't relate over TV shows. You're so excited about a show, but you can't say anything because they haven't seen it yet. You're hiding from the internet. You're hiding from Reddit because you don't want any spoilers because we're all watching it all at different times. You know, it's nice to have everything, everything on, de on demand. <laughs> Can't even get it out. It's nice to watch everything on demand. Sure. Sure. But remember the magic of you had to be finished with your homework because that was your one and only chance to see that show. How, how fun was it to say, hey, did you see 106 in Park last night? Did you see TRL? Did you see American Bandstand or Soul Train or whatever it was? The daily shows that you would keep up with, the weekly shows, the, you know, making sure you were in front of the TV at that time. I mean, look, things come and go. And I like being able to see my shows on my time when I want them. Don't, don't get me twisted. All I'm saying is, is that gone is the magic of really bonding over our favorite characters. 
there's so many shows. How how are these actors and actresses standing out? I mean, you have to be really something spectacular. Now, I love that the talent and, and, and production, they have more job opportunities, sure. But how much saturation is too much saturation? You know, I miss being able to bond over shows, having less competition. I mean, we all want something new to watch, but how much is too much? <laughs> Are we going to get to a point where it's just going to become niche? The shows that we watch, we're going to have to find our own little groups. Is that a bad thing? What will we bond over? TV wise, you know, I, I look, it's neither here nor there. It's just something that I've been thinking about. If you feel the same way I do, if you have thoughts about TV and all of the options, all of the thousands of platforms and, and where it's going, do you miss the days of the bond or do you feel like, ah, eh, take it or leave it? Especially for the younger, the younger kids younger people are y'all curious about what it was like to have to wait i know waiting sounds like oh my gosh but do, are you curious about how it was to go to school the next day and be like oh, can you believe or to go to work the next day and be like oh did you catch that or are you like okay that's yesterday's news who cares like whatever what do you think tv is going to come to next how long do you even think this situation is going to last anyways that's my TED Talk for today. Learn so much again. Bye.